Hey everybody, it's Joe from GreenLightSound.com and today we've got another video highlighting another of Tony Maserati's techniques in mixing. And this one specifically comes from some of his vocal processing for Beyonce on some of the older Beyonce albums. And it's some parallel compression and some effects that are related to that parallel compression. But it's a different type of parallel compression than we usually see, where we would normally use kind of a crushed vocal in a louder section or a chorus of a song to kind of bring the energy, bring that excitement, bring some gain to in louder sections. This is kind of opposite. This is when you've got specifically a female vocal in this case, and you've got a kind of intimate, softer, breathier section of the song, and you want to highlight that kind of sound, bring it really upfront and present, a lot of intimacy in the vocal that way. And we use two basic tools to do it. We've got an 1176, in this case, the CLA 76 from Waves, and a filter, an EQ after it to kind of take away a lot of the body of the vocal and focus the parallel channel on the upper mid-range sort of breathiness. So the first thing we're gonna do is just hear the vocal by itself without the parallel channel. You can see this is the parallel channel here, the fader's all the way down. So here's the vocal without parallel compression. No one's ever been able to stop me in my tracks before you're a beast. Wild animal. So you can hear that kind of breathiness just in that vocal. Now what I'll do is ride this fader up. I'll unmute the channel, ride this fader up as it plays. No one's ever been able to stop me in my tracks before. You're a beast. Wild animal. In the context of the full mix, if I have that going on. No one's ever tracks before you're a beast wild animal i'll bypass it on and off as it plays i'll start with it muted and then just check out the mute button it'll come on and off no one's ever been able to stop me in my tracks before you're a beast wild animal when the track's muted you just kind of lose that in your face intimacy of the vocal. So it's really nice to bring the upper mid range. Let's look at exactly what the plugins are doing. So let me bring them over to the center here. The 1176 is first of all, all buttons in. We've got a medium attack and a fast release. And I'll remind you again on an 1176, it's slow to fast with your attack and release knob. So all the way right is fast. The input and output, you just kind of dial in to get the compression you want. In this case, it's 10 plus dB of compression at the loudest sections, maybe a little bit less on the softer words. Then once you get that compression, you're going to filter out most of the body of the vocal, a little bit of the top end so it doesn't get too harsh, and focus all on that upper mid-range energy, all those breaths and sibilance, but not the main body of the vocal. We're gonna save the main vocal channel for that energy. This is just for that upper mid-range stuff in this parallel channel. It doesn't sound great just on its own, so if I just solo up this parallel channel by itself, you'll hear what it sounds like, what this processing is doing. No one's ever been able to stop me in my tracks before. You're a beast, wild animal. Getting sort of all that breathiness, all those breath sounds themselves. Some sibilance too, so you could de-s it if you wanted to, if it got too harsh, but I'm not going to in this case. But blended in with the main vocal in the full mix, it really helps it come to the front and cut through. I'll bring it down a little bit. No one's ever tracks before you're a beast wild animal and if you check out the compression up here on the VU meter on the 1176 you're getting quite a bit no one's ever been able to stop me in my tracks before you're a beast wild animal so again this is not the big section of the song this is the softer verse and we're just bringing out that intimacy in there a, a little bit different than what you do in typical parallel compression for vocals step two from tony maserati that's unique is that the vocal effects will be sent from this parallel channel instead of the main vocal sometimes so i'm not going to put my delay and reverb in this case a plate on the main vocal channel instead i'll engage these now i'm going to send them from this parallel channel and the effect that achieves is you have the core main vocal and then the effects that are happening are a kind of 
ghosty version of that vocal. Not the actual main thing with all the body, but more of that breathiness. And that's what you're getting in the delay and in the reverb. Let's hear how that sounds in context. No one's ever been able to stop me in my tracks before. What that allows you to have happen is the main vocal provide all that body and the effects are kind of out of the way. You're not getting a lot of the body of the vocal in the effects where you might have to filter it out anyway with some EQ. You're getting just sort of these airy reverb and delay tails. So I'll bypass these effects on and off as it plays and you'll hear the effect they have on the vocal itself. No one's ever been able to stop me in my tracks before you're a beast. It's a really great way to have the effects not be as obvious as they normally would be if you fed them off the main vocal channel and they had all that body to them. I'm going to solo up the effects themselves now, have them pushed up hotter than they normally would have been. So all the body of the vocals out, they're not in the effects at all anymore. So now that we have the effects in, I'm going to bypass this on and off one more time so you can hear the effect of that parallel compression plus the effects in the context of everything going on in the mix. And I'll start with it muted first. No one's ever been able to stop me in my tracks before. You're a beast, wild animal. And I'm the lion that you tame. And of course, I would definitely automate this fader. Tony Maserati certainly does. So you can bring it up when you need that kind of breathiness, bring it down if it gets too harsh, ride it throughout the vocal, and you have some really cool effects for bringing out some intimacy in the vocals in these breathy sections and keeping it as a pop vocal up front. So there we have it, Tony Maserati's parallel vocal compression, specifically the parallel vocal compression he uses on female vocals for softer, intimate sections to bring out that breathiness and then feed the effects off that parallel vocal chain. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.